Today we are collaborating with Resin Obsession and we're going to show you step by step how to make these jewelry pieces with their jewelry making starter kit. Hi and welcome back. We're happy to be collaborating with Resin Obsession today. They're a resin company and they carry all kinds of resin molds, colorants, resin kits for jewelry making and castings, and of course resin. And this here is their jewelry making kit. It comes with all the basics that you need to create your own custom jewelry. So it has protective gloves if you don't already have your own, mixing cups and sticks, and about 20 pendant trays, and the resin. Before using resin, it's a good idea to read all of Resin Obsession's instructions and safety precautions before going ahead, and they have a ton of resources and tutorials up on their website. And all of the links will be in the description below for you. And we're going to get right into this tutorial for you guys and start right off with the first pendant. I'm going to prepare all of the pendants first, and then we'll go ahead and finish them off with the resin. The first one is going to be a super easy jewelry piece that anyone can make. I measured the pendant tray and made a little square template that I can trace. Now just make sure it fits okay and then glue it in with some Mod Podge. And once that's dry, it's ready for the resin. And I've already tested the scrapbooking paper to see if the ink is going to bleed once the resin has been poured onto it and this one's good to go. But if you're unsure, you might want to protect your piece with a layer of Mod Podge and let that dry and then apply the resin. The next pendant is going to be made with an old book page that I've already covered with Mod Podge to protect the ink. I'm just making it nice and flat with this little silicone stick and I'm just being careful not to push down so hard so that it leaves any marks on the paper. This one here, it's the exact same process and I'm just using little broken pieces of jewelry that we have on hand here. Did you know that you can also get bags of broken jewelry from Etsy sellers? I'll leave those links below for you as well. And that looks so cute, doesn't it? These make really great gifts for friends and family. Now this one here is gonna be a little bit different. I'm using some gold leaf and some chunky glitter and also some gold rocks that we just had on hand here. For this one, I'm going to just let some of the silver from the pendant shine through and that's going to give it like an abstract look. If you don't have any scrapbooking paper, you can also just take a regular piece of paper and just hand draw some simple flowers. And how you do this is just to take a permanent marker like a Sharpie and then just draw your flower. Next, I'm taking some alcohol markers and I'm just gonna give them some accents here and there for extra color.
and then go over it with some Mod Podge for protection. If you don't do this step with the Mod Podge, the resin may completely change the color of the paper and it can turn out really patchy. Once everything is nice and dry, it's time for the resin. And in the background, I'm wearing an N95 mask. This resin is a one-to-one -one ratio, so it's super easy to work with. And you'll find with these squeeze bottles that it's really easy to keep clean while you're preparing it. Now the trick is when using resin for jewelry pieces is to mix it slowly and evenly. Try to avoid mixing any air bubbles. And this particular resin, it's gonna be mixed between two and five minutes. When you start pouring the resin, just go nice and slow with an even drizzle, and you're gonna to wanna to pour it just enough so it starts doming, but then doesn't overflow. And that's a nice dome piece right there. And I'll just go ahead and pour the resin onto the rest of the pendants. And this one here, I'm gonna to try to incorporate some glitter and I'm gonna add that right into the resin. These are ready for curing and they're gonna be fully cured in about 18 to 24 hours. Let's check out some beauty shots. Thanks for watching and if you do try Resin Obsession, let us know how it turns out for you. And please subscribe before you go. Till next time, have a beautiful day everyone.